My Divri Torah are in memory of my mother, Li'uli Nishmat, Rachel Bat Yosef Chaim, Ruach Adonai Tanichena B'Gan Eden. In Parshit Chayesara, there is a pasuk that says, Abraham Zakein Baba Yamim, Vadonai Berach et Abraham Bakol. It's translated saying, Now Abraham was old, well on in years, and Hashem blessed Abraham with everything. What is the purpose of this seeming redundancy, stating that Abraham was old, and then he's saying he was advanced in his years? The Midrash tries to offer an explanation by stating that there is a distinction between the word zaken and the word yamim. They actually mean two different things. Abraham was chronologically an old man at this point, but he was still able to relate to the youth of his generation. He lived in the present tense. He was deeply rooted with all the knowledge that he amassed, with all of the inspiration that he received from all the conversations that he had with Hashem. And he was able to refine himself over many years However, he was able to relate to a younger generation. So while he was living in a society that was void of morals and there were uh, many idol worshippers, he was still able to distance himself personally from their way of life, but he understood how they perceived life. So by doing this, he was able to relate to these people Yet ins and inspire them to adopt a Torah, a Torah way of life and to inspire them to become close to Hashem. The next part of the Pasuk says, Vashem berach et Abraham bakol, and God blessed Abraham with everything. The Torah is not trying to give you a statement of Abraham's net worth. What does it mean, Bakol? We know that Avraham was a very wealthy man. Many people are blessed with wealth and material possessions. They have nice houses, they have nice cars, but they're busy with their cars and their houses. So who's in control here? Are they really blessed with their possessions or is it a curse? Are these possessions controlling them or are they controlling their possessions? What the Torah is trying to teach us here is, yes, Abraham had wealth. Abraham had a lot of material possessions. But he never let the possessions control him. Another thing we can learn from the word bakol is, what is everything? Rashi explains that everything, bakol, means a son. The numerical equivalent of the word bakol this base is 2, Chaf is 20, Lamed is 30. 2 plus 20 plus 30 is 52. The word Ben, the Hebrew word for son, base is 2, Nun is 50. 50 plus 2 is 52. It has the same um, numerical equivalent, so because of that Rashi learns out that Bakol means a son. What does life mean if you're a wealthy person and you have everything that you've ever dreamed of having but you have no one to pass it down to? Abraham tried his whole life to inspire the world to lead a life the way Hashem wants us to live. But if he did not have a son, Yitzchak, to pass this tradition on to, it was all worthless. What would he do with it? He's not going to take it with him to the next world. So when he would die, all those position, all his life's work would die with him. The fact that he had a son, Yitzchak, to pass on this tradition to, to pass on his value and belief system to, means that he was truly blessed with everything. So what can we learn from this Pasuk? Well, number one, as we get older and more mature, 
we have to keep our convictions, our traditions, our values, and our morals strong within us. If society changes and they become less moral or less um, religiously inclined, don't change just to fit in with society. Keep your traditions. Yet, when we're passing on our traditions and our values to the next generation, our children, we must always understand what they're living with. We have to see the world through their perspective and inspire them and always keep our traditions that we grew up with alive and relevant to the next generation. And finally, let's recognize all the great things that we have in life, all our valuable material possessions, are gifts from Hashem. We have it because Hashem wanted us to have it. Let's keep it as a blessing in our lives. Don't let it control us.